Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. So today I'm going to go over a really quick tip for Google Forms that allows you to pre-fill responses. Now this is definitely useful for people in a number of different industries, but I found that teachers and people in the EDU community are heavy users of Google Forms, so I think this is especially useful for you guys. So for example, if you're a teacher and you're constantly sending out Google Forms to have your students submit their various assignments, you probably don't want to have to create a new Google Form whenever you have an assignment. So a great way to remedy this is to create a default Google Form and then pre-fill one of the fields that will vary based on the assignment. So for example here I have this basic form where a student would include their first name, last name, section number, assignment name, and the shared assignment link in Google Drive. Now obviously some of these fields are going to vary based on the student and the section that they're in, but the assignment name is something that I can control based off of whatever naming convention that I want to use for the assignment. So to get a pre-filled response for one of your Google Form fields, just go to the Responses tab at the top of the screen and select Get Pre-filled URL. So this will open up a version of this form and you can fill out any of these fields here that you want to pre-fill a response. So I'm going to go down to assignment name and just type in the naming convention. When I'm done, I'll hit submit. And as you can see here, this link pops up at the top of my screen with a new URL to share my form. So when I'm ready to send this out to my students, I can just copy this URL here and send it out to them. So you want to make sure that the settings for the form are set in the original form, but then you'll want to share this URL instead of the conventional one. So to give you an idea of what this looks like, I'll open it up as a new user. So as you can see, all of the fields are empty except for this assignment name here. So I can just go ahead and fill this out. and hit submit. Now if I go back into the responses spreadsheet, you can see I have this nice little breakdown using my specific naming conventions. So like I said, this is definitely a great tip for teachers and people in the EDU community, but this is also definitely useful for any other industry. So if you have something that's submitted by your employees on a weekly basis, maybe a timesheet or something like that, you can have the pre-filled field be the date or week or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, please leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.